Now, let's start to execute instructions. An example one on Dropbox. And change to C drive after that start with executing debug file now we are inside debug file uh, before we write our instruction uh, at first we should choose address for our code for example uh, a 200 now our program will be in uh, 200 location in the memory. Now let's start. I prefer to use uh, capital letters, spitter, move, ax, 5, ff. We cannot write hexa here. It's just for theory. Okay? Uh, this is hexa value it's from 0 up to f. There is no edge in hexa value. Next instruction move cx, comma, ax. Don't put space between cx and comma. Okay? Just the space it's between move and the operands. The next instruction was move BL A high. And then move A low zero zero. Move B high zero E. After that, it was move A high, sorry, B high. The last one, move CX, AX. Okay, when I finish my program, we will use the instruction HLT. That means this is the end of my code. In each program, at first we should write A and the memory location where you want to write your uh, code. And in the end is HLT. Okay? This is standard. To execute our uh, program step by step, we use T, but at for uh, T instruction, um, we should choose what's the beginning of uh, execution. So we start from 200. I write T first instruction in 200, which is move AX FF5. It will be executed. And at the same time, it will show me what's the next instruction. Enter. Now the AX value is ff5 the next instruction is move ax to cx now the cx value is 0 0 0 and bx value also it's 0 now t again enter no need to decide what's the beginning of uh, execution now move AX to CX. The value of CX should be same AX, which is FF05. Now, it was 00. zero. Here, CX is FF50, same AX. If I write T and enter, when I press enter, what's the change? Yes. This instruction, it will be executed. That means the B low value, it will be same A high. The A high value, it's 5, 0. 5, 0, it will go on BX value, which is 
in below. Why below? Because in the instruction I said bring it to below. Okay, T enter below value is five zero. Now what's the next instruction? Move zero zero to AL. If I press T and enter the AL value, it will be zero zero. Let's try. Press enter. Now the value of AL zero zero. Okay. Was FF now it's zero zero, but a high stay same. We didn't change anything on a high now. T enter. What's the next instruction? Move b high zero zero e to b high. What's the value of b high here? b high it's zero zero. If I write if I press enter now. The value of bx it will be five zero e zero. Now press enter. The value of b high changed to zero e. There's um, also another instruction we didn't finish because up to hlt until now there is no hlt. When I see hlt, that's mean this is the end of my code. Okay. Now move B high to A high. What's the value of B high? It's E0. Copy this value to A high. So when I write T and press enter, the value of AX, it will be 0, 0, E0. Now what's the next instruction? Move AX value. To cx this is the cx value now move this value to cx t and press enter now cx value the last value is 0 0 e 0 which same ax the previous value it will change to this value we reach to hlt that means this is the end of my code if the question is what's the value of AX, BX, CX register after executing these instructions, now the AX value is 00 E0, zero, e, zero, BX 50 E0, zero, and CX 00 zero, E0 zero in hexa, which same that we explained in, uh, in the example same code that we execute that now try to solve this question and give me the value of dx register and bx register at first try to solve it on paper and then try to execute it on dropbox and then compare your answer with the uh, execution on dropbox the next one Write an assembly program to swap, that means exchange, the content of AX register with CX register using move instruction only. That means write codes to change the CX with AX. The final result should be e CX equal to 3f5 and the value of ax should be 0491 and thank you